Hello and welcome to Southern Maryland Week in Review Edition, a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and the Forest Career and Technology Center's TV video production program. I'm Caleb. And I'm Nolan. And here's what we have for you on this week's SOMD Wire. The prices for wheat and fertilizer increase as tensions continue between the Russia and Ukraine. The two countries produce at least 30% of the world's wheat and Russia's recent invasion of Ukraine and its distribution hubs have sent wheat prices skyrocketing. According to Ann Alexander, an economist, higher prices of wheat could spark economic un and social unrest in global hotspots. Mechanicsville restaurant Burt's 50s Diner has closed down. Burt Gagnon was the original owner of the diner and after leasing it to other businesses, he recently took back the diner in December. Yet they were not expecting the large labor shortage, causing him and his wife Margie to work 12 hour shifts. Gagnon states, my wife is 79 and working behind the line because we couldn't find cooks. He is currently searching for other restaurant owners to keep the nostalgic diner going. On March 22nd, state school board members received data that showed the harsh impact the pandemic had. All three Southern Maryland counties saw drops of at least 20% in English and language arts, with Calvert County having a 27% loss in English and a 32% dip in math. Not only that, but 40% of Maryland kindergartners showed readiness in school education, a sharp decline from 2018 to 2019 and 2019 to 2020 school years. On Tuesday, the Maryland House of Delegates passed an amended version of the landmark climate legislation, which has sent legislators scrambling to get the bill to Governor Larry Hogan by Friday to allow time for a possible veto override. In the original bill, the state was supposed to reach a 60% emissions reduction in 2030. However, with the new changes, this date may be pushed back to 2031 along with other provision changes for large buildings and schools. Now turning to sports, last month, the Chicago White Sox signed Leonardtown High School graduate Bowen Bo Plague to the MLB. He'll open the 2022 season with the Winston-Salem Dash, the team's single-A affiliate in North Carolina. Ever since I was a little kid, I dreamed of becoming a major leaguer, and now I have the chance to live that dream, Plague said in a phone interview. My entire life, I have always thought of myself as an everyday player, but the White Sox like my potential as a pitcher. As the start of the upcoming 2022 Atlantic League of Professional Baseball season is quickly approaching, Southern Maryland Blue Crabs manager Stan Clyburn and general manager Courtney Nitchell are finalizing the roster for the season. This season will start with defending against Lexington Legends and then will follow up with a match against the Staten Island Ferry Hawks at the Regency Furniture Stadium. That's all we have for you on this week's edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. I'm Nolan. And I'm Caleb. Signing off.